Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Fusion Fall Retro playthrough. My name is Prizzy, and in the last part, which was a while ago, I'm sorry, it's been a minute since I've uploaded an episode of this playthrough. I'm so sorry. I was on spring break um, for the past couple, uh, for the past week and a, and a half ish, so I have been gone, but now I'm back and ready to play some more Fusion Fall with a new update. Um, except we're not going to be going through any of the updated. Uh, stuff today um just because a lot of it is level 16 and we're not level 16 we're level 15 currently but today we're going to be going through a bunch of um missions in uh city hall and townsville center um and then hopefully in the next part or the part after that we'll be able to get into some of the newer missions where with like flapjack and all the the new stuff that we added but uh speaking of new things we added uh the hollow suit has been changed which is why i changed our outfit we are now a uh leprechaun looking guy i also cleaned out my uh, my inventory a little bit so we have room and uh, our vehicle our love bug expired unfortunately so we can buy um i think we're gonna buy the zoomulus club just so we have it <laughs> to uh, to ride around on uh, make our uh make our travels go a little bit faster um so i have a little bit of an idea of what missions i want to do in this part uh the first mission that i want to do in this part is uh number three has it uh, it is, uh, she's three, but we're only going to be doing Toilers Tomfoolery Part 5. This is going to finish up the Toilers Tomfoolery mission lines that we have been doing. Um, she says, we need to give these baby monkeys a home. Can you bring them to Bubbles at City Hall? I know she'll, she will know what to do with them. She loves all creatures. So yeah, that, uh, I did this one because it's going to make us go to City Hall anyway, and that's where we need to go anyway, so I'm going to fly us back to downtown, um, by taking the scamper. And also, um, as I get on the scamper, you may have noticed our nano order is the same as the last two episodes. It is the Powerpuff Girls. And in this part, um, I'm going to finally credit everyone who has been asking <laughs> for me to use the Powerpuff Girls as a nano. So, thank you so much to King E.T., Hi, Teenage Striker, Dodgeball, and so many more. Um, I think there were probably a couple more that I missed. I tried to get as many as I could out of my comment section. YouTube comments are very hard to sort through. <laughs> Even when I have like a list of all of them on every video, it still it, it does not give you a very good job of like filtering comments. I couldn't. I might have missed yours, and if I did, I'm so sorry. But those are the ones that I could find um, for at least a lot of the more recent videos. And then also, um, I don't think we're gonna do this these yet. We have Music and Mayhem part whatever. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing those quite yet just because um, we have to go to um, Townsville Center, or no, Townsville Park for that. And I don't think that's going to line up with what we want to do right away. We're probably, we might be able to get there this episode in, if we make good time on the rest of the missions. But it's going to clog up three spaces in our mission journal and I already know of two missions that we're going to be getting as soon as we land... Um, in City Hall from Mayor and Bubbles, respectively. But yeah, uh, we're back with the playthrough, super excited. Um, especially with some of the new missions. Um, the the flap, If you guys didn't see the update, Flapjack has been added as a permanent NPC. Similar to how Dracula was added as a permanent NPC, Flapjack is the next permanent NPC being added to the game. Um, he is added, and he is now in uh, Leaky Lake, just like he was in the original game, if you guys remember that update. Um, and there are a couple other... Um, there are a couple other missions. Uh, Grim will have a mission. I don't think we can get use Grim's quite yet, just because I think it's a level 18 mission, or maybe it's maybe it's 16 as well. Um, but we'll eventually get there. Um, and then there's also uh, Sticky Beard has a mission that's level seven, um, which kind of leads into the other ones, so we're not going to do them quite yet. But yeah, hopefully in the next part or the part after that, we'll be able to get to them. So let's talk to Bubbles. Like and these two missions are going to be, we're going to be taking those as well. Thank you for bringing those poor defenseless baby monkeys to me. I'll make sure they get a good home and don't wind up at Mojo's Volcano. Oh, do these sweet little monkeys need a home? They can live at Galaxy Gardens until we beat Fuse. I'm bringing them there. In the meantime, can you help me with something? Well, I guess that really leads into what we want to do. Uh, we want to do befriending, bef ooh, befriending Bubbles Part 1 of 2. The park is a giant crack in the ground and everything is polluted. The animals are fleeing and Fuse's monsters are terrorizing them. I need some help. And then also cleaning up City Hall... The mayor wants to have an award ceremony for the bravest kids in town. Unfortunately, the monsters stole all of our decorations. Think you can get them back? Awesome. Also think we can do that as well. The unicycles in this area stole the first nest. Can you track them? So, there are, um... We got two missions going on now for Bubbles. We have to rescue a bird's nest, and we also have to get back party supplies, because the asphalt creeps stole our bunting. 
steal it back. I'm not sure what bunting is. I'll get into that a bit later. And then one of my favorite missions in the game. I guess it's it's my, one of my favorite and also kind of one of the more annoying ones. What the dill? Have you seen my fresh dill pickle garden behind City Hall? It's wonderful. These monsters think so too. Even though they don't like pickles, they want to kill my dill. This is a cool uh, mission. I'm going to do this one last just because... Um, I'll explain why when we actually get to it, but let's go do some asphalt creeps. They stole bunting. Are these the ones in Townsville Center or City Hall? They are the ones in Townsville Center. Actually, they might be the same monster. I'm going to go check that because I think they're over here. I think tech, I think Townsville uh, Center and City Hall share monsters. Because I think these are also the asphalt creeps. But I might be wrong about that. Um, as far as I know, let me check. I guess we can fight them. Yeah, they're asphalt creeps. So let's see if they, like, give us things when we beat them. We have to get bunting. I'm not sure what bunting is. We also don't have a healer, um, because of the Powerpuff Girls. So, this might take a bit longer than I'm used to. Because we have to wait for, um, our health to regen. But that's fine. Oh, I guess we found bunting. Good work. Now you need to find the heavy hunters that took our balloons. Well, the heavy hunters are right up here, so that's going to be no problem right away. But what is bunting? Is that like like a party? Uh, is that a, is that a party thing? I've been to a couple parties in my day, not to toot my own horn, but like what is I've never heard of bunting before. No, go away. I don't want to fight you. I've also realized how well our uh, our day cat or what is this? Is this called the day caster? Oh, planet caster, deluxe planet caster. The planet caster matches our uh, our ensemble really nicely. Also, the heavy hunters are a lot easier to kill than um, asphalt creeps. They're a lot less tanky, which I am personally a fan of. But they have balloons. Balloons, everyone gets balloons, right? You know what balloons are. I know what balloons are. We know what balloons are. What is bunting? I might, I, I might have to Google that later. I, I've always wondered what it was, and I've just, I've never understood it. Is it like, like party streamers or like, it's got to be like a decoration of some kind, right? I've just, I've never. This is the only. Literally, I've never heard anyone ever use the word, like, bunting, in terms of a noun, um, outside of Future Fall. Great. Last but not least, we need to get our streamers back from the unicycles. Well, that's good, because we also have another mission that we have to defeat unicycles for, to get a bird's nest. So we can kill two, uh, ooh. I was gonna say we can kill two birds with one stone, but that seems, like, inappropriate, based on the fact that we're trying to rescue birds from the, <laughs> from the unicycles. Maybe let's not, maybe let's maybe not do that one. Oof, alright, so let's, um, I believe the unicycles are just over this wall, over here. I think I mentioned this, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this on stream or, um, in a playthrough episode, but this building right here is probably one of my favorite, just, like, pieces of architecture in the game. I think it looks really cool. Um, the interior is obviously not 100% there, just because you can't go in there, so I guess it didn't make sense for them to, uh, to do that, but, like... I personally think it looks really cool. Did not have bird's nest. Or the streamers. So these are the streamers. So bunting can't be streamers because we have to get streamers from these guys. Huh, I guess I'm, I've kind of overdone that. <laughs> I'm not, if you guys know what bunting is, let me know in the comments. That's all I'll say about that. I won't, I won't drone out about that for, for very much longer. But I'm, I'm genuinely curious as to what it is. Uh, we also need... Uh, so we have to fight unicycles again. I guess I could have been more efficient and gone to Mayor's, Mayor's Pickle Garden because, uh, I guess, spoiler, that is overrun by unicycles. But there's a bird's nest. Great, but the asphalt crews have another nest. Can you have it? Uh, can you get it? Not can you have it. That's not what she says. I'm going to wait for my health to regen a little bit. And uh, I'm going to hop up here. Are there monsters up here? I feel like there aren't. Nope. But, like, look at this building. This building is super cool. The only thing I don't get about this building is that there's a projector screen playing... The Powerpuff Girls, or I guess it's like a slideshow that you also can't see because the lighting is too bright. But also, like, how are you going to view this projector? You can't, like, you have to stand here and, like, look up, but there's, like, this thing in the way. And, like, there's not a lot of room here in case there are, you want a lot of people to view it. I don't know. I feel like this building should be, or at least this middle part should be flipped. I don't know how easy that would be. Um, based on, because it's, like, connected at the top. Or at least, like, put the projector over on this side so, like, people can view it from the mall. I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it, of course. I'm no expert. I'm no expert in architecture. I did really want to be an architect when I was younger. When I... Uh, me and my parents used to watch, um... 
I don't know if any of you guys watch this. I'm sure at least some of you have, because it was a very popular show. Um, Extreme Home Makeover, or Extreme Makeover Home Edition, with uh, Ty Pennington. I used to watch it all the time, and I, I always wanted to be an architect, because uh, I loved everyone on the show. Love Ty. I think I might die to this guy. No, I think I'm fine. I guess I gotta go wait for my health. But I love Ty Pennington. I loved, uh... Oh god, who are the other people? There was Tracy. She was a carpenter. Or she was, I think, the decorator. Um, uh, and then Ed. Ed from Britain was, uh, was a carpenter. And Polly D was also a, a carpenter. And, uh, Exhibit, the rapper, was also... I think he was an interior designer on the show or something. It was so funny. But that's the whole, like, move that bus show. <laughs> you did it. Can you bring all that stuff back to Mayor? Well, I guess I'll bring all that stuff back to Meryl when we uh, do the rest of what you asked me to do, which is uh, kill some asphalt creeps for this bird's nest. But yeah, that's a little tangent about uh, my my early youth. I really wanted to be an architect. Um, I never pursued that. <laughs> I also never pursued... Uh, my Actually, before I wanted to be an architect, my first, um, my first real uh, passion for like a career was I wanted to be a zookeeper. But I'm sure a lot of kids did. Cause I love animals, right? And I love going to the zoo. I do think still like being a zookeeper would be like really sick. The only problem is uh, I'm not trying to switch my major to zoology again. <laughs> not again, but I don't want to switch my major again. Am I gonna kill this guy? I'm not. Unfortunate. I thought we would have uh, pulled that off. I guess now we can. Um, since the asshole creeps are over here, uh, we can kind of just like loop back around over this way. No big deal. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um. Yeah, they're right here. No big deal. How do these guys hold the bird's nest, by the way? Do they, like, have it in their mouth? Like, their bulldozer kind of mouth? Because, like, they can't hold anything. They have, like, very spinning drills on their hands. I'm not sure. I also probably should have brought an adaptive mano, but also I shouldn't because it's the power of drills. Can I please? Right, I guess I'm just going to chill over here and wait for my health to reach in. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Luckily, um, I do wish health regen a bit faster, but I can see why it doesn't, because, um, obviously it wants to encourage the use of heal nanos. If your health regen, like, super quickly, then there'd be no use for, there'd be no reason to ever have a heal nano, at least in my opinion. If you could just, like, wait for your health to regen. So I guess I can see it. Alright, Day needs a new pair of bird nests. Oh, didn't give me that one, unfortunate. I also refer to myself as Day, which is really gross. I, I very apologize for that one. I'll never do that again. There it is. You got another nest? There's one more. The Heavy Hunters took it. Okay. Well, I have negative 3 HP right now, so I think we're going to chill and wait for um, <laughs> that to pop up again. We can also use the Buttercup to do well against the Heavy Hunters because they're cosmics. I didn't realize that the first time we fought them. Hello, Heavy Hunter. Now if you use a corruption deck, I also, these guys look cool. I think I asked earlier what they're supposed to be, but they're like, they're like motorcycle kind of like looking dudes with like fire hydrants and stuff on their hands. I think they look really sick. There we go. You got all three bird nests. You're my hero. All right, we can go back to uh, we can go back to the guy. Oh, we can actually keep Buttercup out because um, scavenge. <laughs> actually, before we do that, let me uh, gumball you. I probably should have gumballed the other ones um, when we were fighting Uticicles because they were good against it, but I forgot. <laughs> but Buttercup with a gumballed scavenge will give us some more fusion matter for completing these missions. Would you like a mission? Thanks, you were great. I don't know if I could have ever taken on all those monsters by myself. I hope we can return the necessary. What? Bubbles, you are a superhero. <laughs> you have superpowers. What do you mean you can take them all by yourself? That was great. Fuse's monsters are so mean. We need to get these nests back to the park in a safe spot. I believe that's a uh, mission next level. Do you need a mission or something? Thanks for getting those decorations back. I don't see how Mayor is going to have an award ceremony with all these monsters roaming around. Why, thank you. Now we can try to proceed with the very special award ceremony. Unfortunately, the water around City Hall is terribly stinky. Can you figure out what's wrong? Uh, I think we have to go back to the wilds for this one, yeah. The water around City Hall just smells plain awful. I heard about a fellow at Camp Kidney who knows a thing or two about plumbing. I'm not going to do this one this episode. Because we have to go to Leaky Lake. Um, which is uh, what we're going to be doing in... Um, since we already have, like, Demongo's Nano Mission, we will do those uh, at the same time. Because you also have to go to Leaky Lake there. But, 
we're now going to go to do what the dill which is also back here the great machine <laughs> this is a very weird like so great machine is very important to like the lore of fusion fall right the great machine is like how nanos were invented essentially um dexter and mandark like work together to create the great machine which is like the ultimate nano station um but in game um it's out of the way <laughs> and it's like and it's like you if you need to go change your nano you can just go across the street to townsville center and there's a nano station right there so i guess the placement's just a bit weird and like i wish the great machine had more um had more use but here's mayor's pickle garden so the reason i did the other two missions first as we'll see when we uh do the unicycles are about teach them a lesson about being nice so the reason why I did this before um, doing the other ones is because you see where we are on the map. You know how resurrectums work. Um, a resurrectum uh, will respawn you at the closest one to your current location. So look at us right here. Uh, the city hall resurrectum is right here, but the habitat homes resurrectum is right here. Technically, this is closer, even though there's a giant impassable wall in the way. So the game will respawn you here instead of at City Hall, which means you have to go through the whole process of coming back to City Hall if you die. So we really don't want to die here. <laughs> so I'm going to be trying to do my best. I'm going to actually gumball my nanos uh, after I kill this guy. So hopefully that we um, don't die, because that would be very annoying, and I don't want to have to trek all the way back to City Hall. Because it is annoying. Um... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh this is not good. We gotta run. No, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Mm. We can fight one at a time, we can't fight two at once with a planet caster. Do I have a shatter gun? I do. That might have been a lot more useful to uh, to use at this point in time. Unless we can find... Maybe we got a better weapon. We did. Okay, perfect. Now I can fight multiple at once. I know a lot of his armor is probably better, but like I want to wear my St. Patty's Day um, <laughs> thing. Because St. Patty's Day is this weekend. Alright, Mr. Unicycle. Let's try that one more time with a better gun. I have to take out six of them. I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do is take out six of them, which is not awful. Let's take out Bubbles. Bubbles is a cutie. The Bubbles Nano is, is a, a very adorable. <laughs> I mean, all the Nanos are, but I think Bubbles is, is more, more than her sisters. In my professional opinion, of course. Alright, let's hop back out of the Pickle Garden. This Pickle Garden is also really cool, just the fact that it exists. Um, honestly, City Hall is very underrated as an area, in my opinion. Because, like, obviously the City Hall building takes up most of the map square, and you can't go in it. So it's like, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But, like, the Great Machine is here. There's this, like, secluded Pickle Garden, which is really cool. And then there's also, like, that power plant over there that will... I'm not sure we can do the mission there yet. There is a Thromnombular skull over there. Um, and I don't think that mission is active for us quite yet. So we'll be doing that in a different part. But, um, it's just really cool how, like, there's some extra areas in City Hall that not a lot of people know about. Obviously, they'll know about the Pickle Garden because you have to come here for, like, a mission that's very easily found. Like, you can very easily uh, take it because it's given by, like, a main NPC. But, like, Thromnambular, a lot of people don't know uh, about the, the Thromnambular missions. Just because they're, they're, like, the definition of them. They are hidden missions. All right, we have one more unicycle to take care of, and it's going to be you. You are lucky caller number five, or I guess number six, because you are number uh, the six unicycle we have to take out. Well, that was a fine how do you do. Come back and let me say thanks. All right, Mayor. I'm on my way back to you to say hi to you, Mr. Mayor. Not Mr. Mayor, just the mayor. Mr. Mayor is a uh, community member. <laughs> Shut up, Mayor. He's a community team member, actually. Shout out, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Alright, City Hall's also, like, I, I really do like City Hall. Uh, I feel like if they added a lot more, like, a bit more decoration, it would be a, like, a beautiful area. Because I, I love how, like, the City Hall building, I wish there were, like, NPCs back here. Not, like, main NPCs, obviously, but, like, just, like, candy agents or, like, sag agents or whatever. Just people hanging out back there. It would make it feel a lot more alive, in my opinion. Which is one of the things that I, I really am looking forward to doing with Legacy, is just adding NPCs. Not NPCs, just NPCs that, like, are there. You you can't necessarily talk to them. Or maybe you can sometimes, but, like, just, they, like, fill out the world and make the world seem a lot more, uh, populated. Well, thank you for your help. My Dill won the silver medal last year at the Pickle Invitational. I don't know what I would have done if the monsters had destroyed it. 
Your contribution to downtown is invaluable. If the Powerpuff Girls are busy, I'll be sure to give you a call. Now, where did I put my pocket watch? Alright, so I believe the next step is actually to go do those Music and Mayhem missions that we were, uh... That we were, uh, skipped over last time. So I'm gonna go grab those real quick from the Dex bot. Yes, I believe that is next on my list. Let me go check. Uh, the list of what I wanted to do is... Yes. Yes. So... We're going to be leaving Clean Up City Hall Part 2 for um, the next part where we have to go back to the wilds because um, essentially all that is is uh, Mayor tells you to go to uh, talk to Tornator and like you have to go to Leaky Lake, which kind of really would, um, uh, what's it called? It would really synergize, I don't know if that's the right word, but it works, uh, with uh, what we're going to be doing next part. Um, but now we're going to be doing Music and Mayhem Part 3 through 5 which will take us to Townsville Park, because um, our next mission, after these, obviously, um, has given us to buy a, spe a super special uh, Nigel Uno, <laughs> who will be giving us our thing. This is not who I want. This is um, Wilderness Express. Yes, that's Wilderness Express. Um, music and Mayhem. Objective, approve number one nano assignment located number one in Townsville Park. Objective, develop max nano assignment located Grandpa Max in Townsville Park. Objective, develop Scotsman Nano, assignment, locate Scotsman in Townsville Park. So we have to go to Townsville Park. Also, I think, yeah, we also have to um, go talk to Blue, I'm pretty sure. Because he has a guide mission for us this level. So we will go talk to Blue real fast and get that mission from him. Fun and Games Part 2. Did Blue look at the treasure map yet? We have no more time for Super Mega Blastroids 10 at a time like this. Please stress the importance of our task. Alright, uh, if you say so, brother. Um, also, this I think is better than... So this is a pistol with 391. This is a pistol with 367. So yes, the supersonic drill is better than our Planicaster. Which we will be uh, we will be very much using. Ooh! Ooh, wait, hold on. This is better than... How is this better at uh, multiple targets than a shatter gun? Well, I guess there's no reason not to equip it. Actually, there is because it's not a it's not a shatter gun. I would put this in weapon slot too. There he is. What's up, Blue? My copy of Super Mega Blasteroid 10 is scratched. The receipt is about to expire, so I need you to bring it to the store right away to get a new copy. Okay, so I guess we gotta do this real quick. We have time. It's timed. Okay, it's in Townsville Center, so we're we're it's gonna be on our way anyway. But we can go do that for Blue. Did Ed say anything? No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> I love how a lot of the missions are literally just like, it's blue going like, hey, <laughs> I know we have like a task at hand, but like, come on, help me with my, uh, help me with my video game copy. <laughs> oh, we'll help you out, Blue, as long as you help us find the crazy brain candy in the end to fulfill our ultimate quest and goal. Uh, I, I suppose that it would totally be fine. <sighs> Not that I'm... Not that I'm not excited to help it, uh, blow out with his uh, with his goal, but like we got things to do, we got people to see, places to be. Um, but this is a time mission, so we do want to do this one with the utmost importance. We also are going to be doing Wilderness Express um, uh, next part as well, because that I think I believe as you go talk to Fuzzy Lumpkins, who is in um, Leaky Lake, which can you see Leaky Lake is going to be the destination of our next episode, without a doubt. Um, and then I think. Depending on what we need to do, we might be able to do that with Flapjack's missions. The only difference is Flapjack missions don't take place in Leaky Lake. They take place in Acorn Flats, which is a level 16 area. So we might have to wait until we do uh, Demongo's. Well, obviously, we will have to wait until we do Demongo's nano mission. Because it, we can't get the missions if we're, if we're not level 16. But, like, we might have to wait a part after that. But here we go. There apparently is a game store in um, the... I walked instead of taking the uh, thing because I feel like that would be faster. Um, I'm also going to be walking to Townsville Park because of a weird interaction with um, Music and Mayhem. Uh, which I will explain as I'm doing it. But Is that a game store? There's... Oh, it's a Game Hive Arcade. That's why. Oh, wait. It's a... We're not even going to the Game Hive Arcade. We're going to this unnamed store right here. Why don't you just put it over here at the Game Hive? <laughs> Phew, you did it! Bring the new game here! Now, 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 now! Well, um... No, I'm going to be doing this first. So, as you can see, this says go to Townsville Park, go to Townsville Park, and this one is just like, get Grandpa Max's shirt. 
But if you say go to Townsville Park, it tells you, this one specifically tells you to go to the location where the NPCs are. However, this one, which I believe is Scotsman's, has you go over here, which is like the entrance to the infected zone. Which is really weird, I'm not sure why that it's like that. It's just kind of out of the way. Um, uh, and it makes you run a lot more than you actually would have uh, wanted to do previously. Especially in an area where there are uh, level 16 monsters that want to kill you. Um, so hopefully we can make it there and back alive. <laughs> Except, uh, Townsville, see, the thing about Townsville Park is that, uh, I don't know, it's obviously not the case, right? So this is very much not true. But I always feel like the monsters here are a lot more aggressive than other areas. Like that, perfect timing. They just, like, attack you. I think it's more, I'm gonna, I might die to this if he keeps attacking me. No, I'm, I'm out of the way. But, like, I think it's more due to the fact that the monsters are so close to the beaten path um, of the street, but it just seems like the monsters want to attack you for every little thing you do in this area. We've reached Townsville Park. Yes, you're right, we've been in Townsville Park for at least a good, like, minute now. Um, I don't know why you sent me over to the infected zone, which we don't need to go into right now, and instead sent me, um, not there, <laughs> to where the NPCs are. But, you know, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Ah, no. Don't attack me. See, that's what that's what I mean. Like these guys are like chilling right next to the road. So like you kind of will get attacked by them, especially if you're doing this as a level 15. Um like me, where like the the radius that monsters will attack you increases or I guess it would decrease uh the higher level you are, but since we're not higher level than them, uh they can still attack us from a good distance away. But let's go um, talk to people. I think we also have to reach a waypoint here. There we go. You've reached Townsville Park. Let's talk to Scott and... Scotsman. That's not his name. You'll be needing me spare kill. The pattern and my tatter. The pattern is the tartan of my clan. I don't know what tartan means. I'm assuming it's like a logo. The nanos at Crater will be fearsome indeed. Except, uh, uh, just to, just a, a warrant, a little bit of a warning, Scotsman. Um, you don't have a nano. <laughs> You kids are pretty brave to fight Fuse. The least I can do is donate one of my shirts to the cause. Here you are. How many, how many Hawaiian shirts do you have, Grandpa Max? And then, of course, Nigel Uno. Take good care of these sunglasses. They have seen a lot of action. And then you also have another mission for us we're going to be taking, because we're going to be doing that on the way back. I just received an urgent message. Heavy hunters are going to attack the shoppers at Townsville Mall. Can you hurry up and stop them? Yes, we can. And uh, that's perfect, because we're going to be flying back to City Hall, right where the heavy hunters are. I guess he wants me to go to Townsville Mall first, which is... I think that's where we land. Yeah, he tells me to go to Townsville Mall, but it's... Oh, he tells me to go to where Princess is standing, essentially. I thought he made me go to, uh, like, the City Hall. Like, he told me to go to a different area than the one I'm actually in. <laughs> That'd be funny, but... Unfortunately, it's a... That's not it, Chief. But let's go land down here. I believe there are... So there's fusion from another planet. I believe there are two missions in this line that we can do as of this very moment. Because I believe Princess will have the second one. But after that, then we'll be uh, we'll be done with all the missions we can do right now for downtown. Obviously, I'm excluding the mayor one um, that we will be <laughs> that we'll be doing as I've said a couple of times in the next part. But uh, unfortunately, we can't like just start going berserk on these heavy hunters. We have to go uh, go to the area that they are, even though we're going to an area that they just aren't. Because we're going to the mall, but... Oh, well. Hello, princess. It's Nigel. Look for heavy hunters nearby. Make sure you get rid of them. Well, five is not too bad of a number, so... Let's totally go do that. Jumping up. Hello. I'm going to gumball my nanos once more. Just because um, I have a bunch of gumballs, so I might as well use them. Because I don't want people going like, well, why do you have gumballs and you're not using them? Not to say that that's, uh, you're in the wrong if you say that, because you're very much in the right, and I definitely need to be using my gumballs, um, and my, and just like, and my, uh, my scavenge nanos and everything more. I just forget. I'm a very forgetful person. <laughs> there we go. Take the crate. There we go. Good show. The mall is safer to you. Please come back. You can come back. I 
Uh, oh, I probably should have. Okay, I shouldn't have jumped down here. I should just take the. Uh, I can take the monkey donkey uh, over there. No big deal. Let's go back to number one. Turn in this quest um, and have fun. That's a good rhyme. <laughs> Bars, straight up. Um, but yeah, Plurinsis I think is the second one. I'm not sure if it's related to this mission at all. Hey, but we will find out, won't we? <laughs> what do we get from those heavy hunters? An Ensville Slugger? A Super Ensville Slugger, sorry. And uh, I have like so many screwdrivers. I have three screwdrivers in my inventory right now. I want to sell them for money, because uh, we are looking a bit low on funds right now. Not to say money has never really been a problem for FF, you know? But... Eh. Who, um... Who knows? But we are going to... Uh, what's it called? Land in Townsville Center? No, Townsville Park. That's where we currently are. The land park, talk number one. And that will be that. Townsville Park has some really cool buildings too. I really like how they have like the big high rises. Um, and also that there aren't very many of them because it is a park. <laughs> so it makes sense. Hello, Nigel. You did an excellent job, kid. Or, you did an excellent job. Kids can shop a little safer now. I think the candy store is going to have a big sale in your honor. Once again, excellent work. You're really starting to make a name for yourself. Well, thank you. So we can... Uh, not return these yet. I know we've been holding onto these items for a very long time. But Princess has part two um, that we can do. And then that will probably be... And then we'll turn in everything. And then that will be it for this part uh, flying on back. What did you? What did we get as a reward from that mission? A crate. Ooh, a super sweet Gatling gum, and it's better than our shatter gun right now, so we'll definitely use that. Uh, the Gatling gum is a very cool item. It's just very large, <laughs> and it looks kind of it looks kind of silly when you're uh, when you're holding it. In my in my professional opinion. <laughs> Oof. All right. Let's um. Let's land. I am right, right? I, I really hope I am right and that Princess does have a mission, or else I'm going to feel a bit goofy. I'm not going to lie. But I do think that she does, because I, I think this is the one, um... This one's very a very annoying mission. Like, a, uh... It's a, it's a infamous mission. Not necessarily one of the most infinite, infamous is. Yeah, she does. Because I'm, like... There are some really infamous missions in Fusion Vault, like Don't Fear the Reaper, um... Where it's, like, it's very hard... Hey, the unicycles are mad that you beat up the heavy hunters and now they're going nuts. Go back to City Hall and fix it, like, now. So it does have a connection. Collect the designer sunglasses. All right, we're going to go get some, uh... We're going to go get some, like, ray We're going to go collect the Ray-Bans right now. Uh, the Gucci. The Gucci the Gucci sunglasses. That's what she really wants us to get. Designer sunglasses. This one is very annoying just because, um, a lot of... Because you have to get three quest items, right? Um, and the three quest items are, uh, in spots that are kind of, like, infested with monsters. So if you try to just, like, run in there and take, and, like, and, like get the items and everything, you're gonna have a, a bad time just because monsters are gonna attack you. Um, and it's, it's more worthwhile to just fight them. I'm gonna see if I can sneak around, but I don't think I can. There's also a lot of, uh, pickle carts around here, which is really funny. But it's on top of this building, um, and you think, oh, it's on top of the building, it's no big deal, and then you hop up on the building, and there's a bunch of monsters up here. So, yeah, that's what I, this is what I mean. It's just, there's some unicycles up here that want to get in your way. There's actually only two, I believe there are more in the original game, we just didn't put as many up here. There's also a golden cocoa egg. Can I please not die to this? Thank you. Alright. I'm going to try to not target get targeted by you designer sunglasses crate good you got the designer sunglasses yeah we got the we got the gucci now we have to get the no actually uh yeah that would be the gucci and then we have to get the tiny dog handbags we're gonna go get the louis vuitton right now keep looking the monsters stole more stuff this one's even i think more of a challenge just because it's kind of in the middle of all of these guys so we're just gonna clear out the ones we can unicycle Unicycles are a very cool enemy. I believe these are the only time they're used to, which is really cool. They make a lot of sense because of the pickles. No, at the last second. I could have clicked on it. Unfortunate. Liberty Bell. 
Really haven't had much use for Blossom's Liberty Bell because we haven't needed to do, we haven't needed to go in like an effective zone or anything or anywhere that has like a toxic. Uh... No, I'm gonna die to this guy. Run! Unfortunate. At least we're like we land or at least we respawn in Townsville Park, so it's not very far. Cause it's in like the, it was in the corner of um because that's the building we were just on right there, so it's like it's very much it's very close. So dying is not uh, necessarily that big of a of an issue. Dun, 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 There's also like this side way to jump up here, which I've never once used, but I guess now I have. Let's try this one more time. Stop attacking me! I don't want to fight you. I want to fight these guys down here. I don't even want to fight these guys down here. I just want to get my Louis Vuitton bag and run. All right, let's try this one more time. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Get it? Yes. Okay, run. <laughs> you found a tiny handbag for a miniature dog. Great. And now we need the BFF bracelet. So now we need this, the, what, the Supreme bracelet? Don't stop now. I think those creatures raided the jewelry store, too. Okay, this one's a lot easier because you can kind of come on top of the fire station and then just dot, nick dip down. And get it? Great, a BFF bracelet. Bring them all back here. Okay, so we're going to return to Princess. Oh, and we got her all of her things that she wanted. <laughs> I don't know why she uh, needed us to grab these. Can't she just... I mean, I guess they got stolen, technically, from the store. But, like, can't she just buy them? <laughs> she has the money. She's Princess Morbuck. She's rich. She's, like, the richest... Uh, she's the richest NPC in the game. Like, by far, I would say. Actually... Yeah, I would say so. I guess it depends on how much money uh, Dexter and Mandark have. Just because they are, like, CEOs of the most successful business in the world. But Morbucks, actually, Morbucks Industries are, are very are very poppin' as well. Hello, Princess. Princess is just trying to get stuff in the unicycle. She's so greedy. So, I guess we're not giving Princess her stuff back. Hey, it's Buttercup. Go return the sunglasses first. I mean, we already, at this point, we already have found Buttercup, and we know uh, that she exists, but, like, it's still kind of jarring to see Buttercup, like, hey, this one, this, the reason this mission is infamous, I never really explained it, is because of this. Now we have to go back and put everything back to where it was, which is very annoying, <laughs> that we can't just, like, collect everything and return it to, like, Bubbles, or the Mayor, or even Buttercup, even though it would be, like, kind of a walk, it would still make more sense. We have to, so we... So these items, right, hear me out, they were stolen by monsters, and they have been, and we found them in, like, areas where monsters are, like, hidden. Like, we, we found them, like, being, like, stashed away and hidden by monsters. So now they're telling me to go put it back, even though we, we just, like, we retrieved the items that were stolen. Now they want us to bring back the items that we stole back. I don't get it. So that's why you stink. <laughs> That's, so that's the reason why a lot of people don't like this mission, is just because of all... You have to backtrack and do everything twice. Now put the Dining Dog Hand back back. Okay, I can do that. But yeah. Ah, uh, don't eruption attack me, bro. Okay, I can see the unicycle. He, he kind of like hit around that corner, and I don't want to get targeted by him before... No! <laughs> Come on. I don't even think... Can I kill this guy? I think I can. Maybe. It's gonna be close. Okay, we got one HP. I'm gonna hop up here so that no one else kills me. We have one HP. Like, actually. How much HP do we have? Oh, we respawn. We regen. I guess while we're up here, let's open our... Oh, Coco Egg. We got a recall power item. Good thing we're never gonna use that. <laughs> we're never gonna use that. Um... There we go. No, I wanted the tiny dog handbag. Not my Louis Vuitton. All right, and now we can return the Supreme bracelet. Do Supreme? I'm mean, sure Supreme makes bracelets. What's a pot? What's like a what's like a high end jewelry brand? I know Supreme is probably like more of like a hype beast kind of thing, but like I don't really know. I'm not familiar with like jewelry. Sorry, I tried to trick you. Are you mad at me? Don't be mad. I used to be a Powerpuff Girl. No, you what? No, you didn't. Oh, that was my favorite. I'm telling my daddy. You can tell him all you want. He's not in this game. Ha <laughs> ha! 
All right, so now we can actually go return all of those like personal items to the next pod that we uh, needed to because that mission's now over. <laughs> we have successfully returned all of the items that we stole back to the people who stole them in the first place. So technically we did a good deed, but like, I don't know, because stealing is wrong, right? But like, I feel like stealing, we didn't steal it back. We, we like retrieved the items back from someone who said, I don't know, I'm thinking way too much into it. I just don't like that mission. <laughs> it was one of my least favorite in the game, just because of the backtracking and the uh, and the the placements of the items. But oh well, you know sometimes sometimes life ain't fair. Sometimes you have to do a mission you don't want to do if you want to 100% the game, which we are 100% in the game. Um, I know uh, I I don't think I ever mentioned it, but we are very much 100% in the game in this playthrough. I know part 30 what part 36 is a weird. <laughs> is a very weird uh, part to declare that, but we're totally 100%ing this game. It's not that hard. Um, if my like obviously my definition of 100%ing is doing all the missions and like getting everything, doing everything that there needs to be done. Collecting every item is, I think, frankly, not even worth it and impossible. Um, but that's I know what a lot of people want, want to do when they think 100%ing the game. But by 100%ing the game, what I want to do is I want to do all the world missions, all the guide missions for all four guides, which means we're going to be switching guides um, probably later into the uh, later into the game. Maybe at the end of it. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, but I also want to do all of the hidden missions, like from Numbular, um, a quest, stuff like that. And, and and show it and like show everything that there is to show about this game. But yeah, that's that's what I really would like to uh, I like to accomplish on this playthrough. Uh, depending on how long I uh, how long this uh, playthrough goes, because we are in the 30s and it's still um, it is still very much <laughs> we're still very much like halfway through the game almost. All right, let's get out Buttercup. Let's give her a gumball. And let's turn in this quest. Hello, Dexbot. I have things for you. Mission accomplished. Number one nano is now on track for enhancement. Sunglasses acquired. Mission accomplished. Robot happy. Aw, that's cute. Mission accomplished. Grandpa makes nanos now on track for enhancement. Mission accomplished. Scotsman nano is now on track for enhancement. Hawaiian shirt obtained. Optical sensors indicate garnish pattern or garish pattern. And then what do you say about Scotsman's thing? Kilt acquired. <laughs> Just kilt acquired. Alright, and now we have one more thing to do before we wrap up this part. We have to fly on. Fly on back to Blue. Fly him back to Blue and City Point and give him his copy of the game. And then I'm going to go check off. While we're on our, our flight path, I'm going to check off all the things we did. Nice. So now... The next part we can do Wilderness Express, we can do Cleaning Up City Hall, we can do Mystery of the Meteor, which were those missions, which was one of the, and as well as uh, Treetop Troubles, which were the two missions that we saw number three have in the beginning of the part that we didn't quite get to today because they have you go to um, Leaky Lake, I'm pretty sure. And also, May Canker has a mission line for us as well. We'll be getting to that in the next part. Um, maybe with some Flapjack stuff, maybe with the Demongo Nano mission as well. Uh, we will play it by ear and see. All right, Blue, we got you your copy of the game. Now get that. Now get the very delicious Polo de Outer Spacio. What? What does that even mean? You are the best. Now the whole world can breathe a big sigh of relief. I am off to conquer this game. In the meantime, you can have these cool skate pants. I think you'll like them. And that is what we got today. So. Thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Again, very sorry for not uploading for a while. Uh, I was on vacation, uh, which was very cool. I didn't get to talk about it a lot, but it was a very cool experience. I'm glad I went on vacation. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back next time with when we go to Leaky Lake in the Wilds District. We're going to be doing a bunch more missions down there. We're going to meet Flatjack. We're going to meet uh, Fuzzy Lumpkins, and uh, I think that's it. Those are the only NPCs we're going to meet. Oh, we also will probably meet Gwen, I think, as well. Um, and yeah. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys again. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Make sure you comment down below your feedback for the series to help me improve on it, as well as comment your nano suggestions, because I think after this episode we'll be re retiring the Powerpuff Girls lineup for a later episode. So if you guys have, I, uh, I guess I'll open my nano book right now. 
if you guys have a combination of these 15 nanos that you want me to use. Um, also, if you have one that includes Demongo, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting Demongo next episode. Um, so if you have a nano suggestion that you want me to use, let me know in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it. And I will give you guys a shout-out, just like how I gave a shout-out to everyone in the beginning, such as King AT, Teenage Striker, Dodgeball, and Hi. And um, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys never miss an episode. I know my upload schedule is very sporadic. I'm going to try my best to fix that. I know I say that every single time and it never happens. But obviously, if I keep saying enough, maybe one time it will stick. And I'm going to sign off. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date on all of the videos I upload. Make sure you guys ring that notification bell um, so you guys get actual notifications when I upload a part. And if you tell me that you do that, I will give you guys a crispy, crispy shout out in the video. Speaking of that... I'd like to thank Wolfgang for turning on your notifications. I really, truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's it for me, guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time when I upload another video of our Fusion of Fall retro playthrough. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Mm -hmm.